everyone. Welcome back. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Caroline. Tonight is uh, Tuesday, December 21. And I've been doing daily vlogs for the month of December. So tonight is Vlogmas 21. So I hope everyone is uh, safe, healthy, and ready for the holidays. So I did sneak out of the house tonight. I think I was having a little bit of cabin fever in the house. And I did need a few ingredients for tomorrow morning. So I went into the bulk barn to get my ingredients. And I also went to the Dollar Tree. And if you know me by now, you can't go to Dollar Tree without going to Dollarama. So yes, I went to the Dollarama as well. So tonight's haul will be the Dollar Tree and the bulk barn. And I'll save Dollarama for tomorrow night. So let's get into these advent calendars. So... We're going to start with the dog's advent calendar and we're looking for 21 and it's ho 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 and what i put in it for them tonight was uh three more little milk bones they love these and they are tonight's flavor filet mignon so max was in here but I told him to stop whining, so now he's gone. He's in a huff. Anyways, <laughs> that is the dogs. Then we're gonna get to mine. And uh, Star Wars, The Mandalorian. So we are looking for 21 on here. Look at all those, look at all those empty chocolates missing. 21 is up at the top there, right up there. So we will open 21. So yeah, I waited. I had uh, dinner and then I headed out at about uh, 6 o'clock because I figured hopefully the stores won't be too busy. But there was quite a few people out shopping, which is probably uh, what I expected anyway, being a few days before Christmas Eve. So this one is uh, the child again. So that's my chocolate. And now we're going to do uh, the Mandal... Uh, we just did the Mandalorian. Now we're going to do the 24 days to celebrate my scratch lottery ticket. And tonight we can scratch 21. So where is 21? I can't be too far because there's only a few left. <sighs> I was going to say, why is there no 21? It's right there. It's the, um, the moose. So we're gonna rip it up, rip it off. And it's a green, a green scratch area. Get out the uh, fancy scratcher here. I do have one of those little plastic lottery scratchers, but um, I keep it in my purse, I think. And I never remember to go get it out. So here we go. Oh, oh, I, it's me, okay, sorry. I have a $40, a $40, a $50, and a $30. And it's a little stocking is the symbol. It's okay, it was me. They think it was the door. So this is our second stocking and that is worth, um, Three of them is worth uh, $40. So we're going to put a 21 in there. So we are pretty much have like two of everything. There's just a couple there that don't. So let's hope uh, the next three give us something, right? So we'll, we'll put that aside. So I'm going to get into this haul. I only went into Dollar Tree specifically for uh, two more of the shrink wrap. So I uh, I pretty much wrapped all my gifts, but I thought uh, I needed two more to finish off two other gifts. I think this is uh, pretty good stuff. And they're, they're huge. I'll show you some pictures at the end of how I did the galvanized baskets. And I actually decided to individually wrap all their gifts so they wouldn't just look in it, you know, and say, oh, okay. They have to actually open it and open all the gifts and see what they've got inside their basket. 
So I went ahead and grabbed two of those. These are excellent value for $1.25. And uh, I needed some more lighters to light my candles. And I normally buy them in Dollarama. And the Dollarama ones have that little, um, you have to push on the top and pull the trigger. Uh, sometimes I find that difficult to do. So I saw these ones in Dollar Tree and I thought, okay, I'm going to try these ones because they're just the same. And they, they have that little refill thing on the back because my husband likes to refill them. I just go out and buy new ones. So it has a little lock button. So, you know, switch so you can lock it or unlock it. And, uh, it, now it is quite hard, but uh, I mean that, well, the first one was, but yeah. So I bought two of these, try these ones out, see how they are, because Dollarama are putting their prices up on their lighters too. So I needed two of those. I can leave one in the kitchen and one in here. And what else did we get? I uh, purchased these uh, for $1.50 each. I tend to keep a lot of my food in these. I did buy the, I have the taller ones that you can get in Dollarama and uh, they hold the lasagna and the uh, long spaghetti and linguine and that. So see, I can't even open these, but anyway. So for $1.50, I picked up three of these bigger ones. They did have a smaller size and I'm pretty sure they were charging the same price for it. So I grabbed three of those. I'm going to plan on putting some of this stuff that I bought today at um, the bulk barn in here and uh, maybe put my um, craisins or something in them as well. My cranberry, dried cranberries, because uh, what was I going to say? I have my brown sugar and all in glass. I just find that I like it better in the cupboard in glass. It stores well and it keeps it fresh. I have my icing sugar and everything in jars like that in the pantry. So, oh, the other thing I bought, I had to buy these. I actually was had my eye, eye out for these. Uh, the Americans had got them way back in November and we're just getting them this week. So it is the little uh, lanterns and they were $1.50 and they are plastic. So they are kind of cheaply made but let me see this one's actually popped up see it kind of popped up there I'll fix it so they do light up just remember to buy one with the little tab already in there and pull it out if you can and uh, the switch and the little light flickers how cute is that so I bought the snowflake they only had the three and I bought all, one of each and they had the red one with the deer. So pull your little tabs out. See, even these are hard for me to do. Let me use my knife. Whatever works, right? There we go. And that's the deer. I know a little late in the season, but we can still display them. The rest of this week and next week, right? And I bought the green, the Christmas tree. So yeah, they were all a dollar fifty each. So how pretty are those? I love them. <laughs> so uh that was all I purchased at Dollar Tree. I actually did behave myself and only went in for what I needed, but these were on my wish list to find and I found them. And they had two shelves of them and the one shelf was pretty much, there was maybe one of each left after I took mine and the top shelf was still full. So if you are looking for them, they are out right now at the stores. So I'll show you what I picked up at the bulk barn. And yeah, I had a white hot chocolate on the way home. You always have to stop at Timmy's, right? Okay, 
I don't drink coffee. I'm just a tea drinker and definitely a hot chocolate drinker. And little Max is here. What do you want, Max? So what I went into Bulk Barn for was um, I needed some cornmeal. I only needed a little bit, but I probably picked up more than I needed. But this cornmeal was... Um, it's yeah, yellow cornmeal. It was only a dollar and two cents for this. And what I need this for is tomorrow is Balik's uh, 15th birthday and I'm going to make some homemade uh, treats for them. They're peanut butter and oats and it calls for some of this. So we're going to make those for the dogs tomorrow morning for Miss Balik. Can't believe I've had her 15 years already. And the other thing I went in for was some cloves. So this little bag of uh, cloves, I love the smell of cloves. This little bag was uh, whole cloves, $2.43. So I bought those. And I bought some fresh cornstarch. So this big bag of cornstarch cost me $1.94. And see, I, I will go to the bulk barn and buy my items, but then I'll store them, you know, in, in a glass container and then I'll label it so I know what I've got. And uh, the other thing I looked for in there was white hot chocolate. And thank you, Linda, for telling me to go look there because they had it. They had uh, regular hot chocolate white hot chocolate and candy cane hot chocolate so i bought a big bag of white hot chocolate and this big bag was uh eight dollars and 26 cents which i don't think is too bad at all for that and i'll tell you uh what i do um you have to try it it's so delicious i used to get this uh, when i was teaching skating I used to uh, have a cup of this warm up with. So it's white hot chocolate and you put a chai tea bag in it. It is so delicious. So I just buy, I brought them in to show you. I just buy a chai tea bag at the um, grocery store, the Tetley chai. Put one of those in your white hot chocolate and it is delicious. And last year I did buy a frother uh, it was actually from Amazon. So you pour your milk in and it heats it and froths it at the same time. And then you pour it onto your powder. And then I'm going to put my chai tea bag in and I'm going to have one of these probably every night until my hot chocolate runs out. You got to try it. It's really good if you do like uh, hot chocolate and chai tea. That is it for tonight. It's kind of short. Uh, stay tuned for Vlogmas 22 where I will do the Dollarama haul and it's probably a little bit bigger than this one because I see two big bags sitting over there on the floor. So for the rest of your evening, let me know if you are off now for the holidays. I hope that you're all safe and healthy and I will see you again tomorrow. Good night.